Hi, I'm Ryan Moody from Ryan Moody Fishing. Welcome to this week's blog post. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank all of you out there in, in our fishing community that do send in questions. It gives us some great ideas for blog posts. And one of them recently, I'll read to you now, is uh, Ryan, in my neck of the woods being Derby in WA, we have the second biggest tides in the world. So using live baits and lures and where to fish does become very tactical in a sense. The majority of our fishing is live baiting, and on many occasions I've been told not to use circle hooks, only suicide hooks. The thing is that I've, all the barra that I've caught were hooked in the throat, so I'd prefer to use a circle hook. I've been continually told as barra's, a barra's mouth is too hard for circle hooks, and I don't believe it, am I right? Yes mate, you are right. That's all I use. I use circle hooks for barramundi fishing. Uh, I think one of the biggest problems out there people have is if you're using a hook like a suicide or some kind of short shank live bait hook, when you step up to a circle hook or even a half circle hook, which is the ones I use, I don't use a full circle, uh, you've got to step up in size. So if you've used previously a 4 -0 hook, when you step up to circle hooks, go up a couple of sizes, go up to six or sevens, and because um, that's how they work. You, you don't hold onto the rods, you let the fish hang themselves. Let them slowly come tight on it. If you're using circle hooks and you grab the rod and you rip at it, you're most likely gonna miss them. So all you gotta do is let them inhale the bait, let the rod do all the work, let it load up, and you'll catch them in the corner of the mouth every time. That's the beauty of the circle hooks. You won't get them caught down the throat. It's as they swim off, it always finds that corner of the jaw and usually gets in that soft membrane of most fish down where the two jaw lines meet. So I love using circle hooks. I reckon they're great. Um, suicide hooks, keep them for bait fishing out the reef where you're going to take a few fish home, that sort of thing. But if you're into live baiting and releasing barramundi uh, and any other fish for that matter, always use a half circle hook. The ones I use are the Eagle Claw Carlies Wide Gapes. Um, they're a fantastic hook. That size there is a 10-0. That's more for, suited for reef fishing or giant barramundi. Uh, for average size barramundi up to the metre mark, we come down and we use a 7-0 for those. That's a 7-0. And uh, that's one of the most common size hooks that I use in the creeks and rivers for our live baiting. And of course there's different sorts of uh, circle hooks as well. There's one from Black Magic. That's a uh, half circle hook as well. Once again, um, always let the fish lay on it, no matter what it is, semicircle, full circle, three quarter circle, it doesn't matter. Let the fish lay on it themselves, fish, fish it in gear, and uh, forget about that free spooling, and you should catch the fish of your dreams. So, if you like this little tip and you want to see more, subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and if you want some tips that I only send out via email, head over to ryanmoodyfishing.com and join up to our free fishing community. See you next time. Okay. Okay. You got what we needed today? Is that a wrap? Yes, sir. Good, let's go. Beer and pizza. <laughs>